Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the new YouTube studio. So finally I have the layout that I wanted and I can finally use the quality equipment that I have such as this uh, microphone. If you've been following the channel for a while and the Instagram page, if you recall I was dealing with a foot issue when I was running. Uh, I had major tendonitis in my right foot. So it was uh, prohibiting me from uh, doing my usual long distance runs that, that I was used to. So I was doing uh, weekly physical therapy. I'm a strong believer in physical therapy whenever you're dealing with any type of sports injuries. So at the same time, I uh, came across an Instagram ad for the toe spacers. So if you've seen some of these on, uh, on Facebook or Instagram, and you probably saw these pop up. So I came across these and I hit up the toe spacers uh, asked them if they would send me a sample because I was dealing with this foot issue and I figured I'd give these to try to see if this would expedite uh, with the, my tendonitis in my foot. So I was doing my physical therapy exercises uh, every evening and I just would put these on and I would do the physical fitness exercises with the toe spacers on. So I just made it a habit to uh, include these in uh, my workouts as well because you can also wear these when you're exercising. And honestly, I think it helped me uh, with, uh, with my foot issue. And I finally recovered from it within a few weeks afterwards. And I just started to add these into my uh, workout programs. So this is a $20 tool that can assist you with uh, stretching the the muscles in your feet and realigning your toes. So a lot of us are wearing uh, shoes that are pretty narrow and your toes end up being compressing together all day. And that's then eventually you start developing foot problems. I know some of you might not understand until you actually deal with this issue because I could never understand how somebody develops plantar fasciitis or anything like that until I started experiencing the same pain and my whole summer just went to waste because I couldn't run. So for example, as you could see, this is one of my boots. So as you could tell, it's got a narrow toe box and anymore, I can't even wear these boots anymore because I train bare feet and after using this and doing my uh, barefoot exercises, my feet don't even feel comfortable wearing those same boots. So now I uh, try to, whenever I'm purchasing new footwear, I usually go for size wide and just go a, uh, half a size up. So that way my feet feel more comfortable. And honestly, half of my shoes don't even uh, fit me now because uh, my feet feel uh, wider just from training barefoot and from incorporating these into my training as well. I'm not saying just by wearing these, you're gonna improve, uh, your foot strength. I'm a big proponent in just strictly training barefoot because I want to train my feet so I have stronger feet for better stability and balance. If you're going to purchase a set of these, uh, I don't recommend just jumping right into working out and wearing these during your workouts because as soon as you put these on and you take your first step, you're going to be able to tell how uncomfortable it feels. You're actually going to feel slight uh, uncomfortable pain in your feet. But if you just put them on and just uh, sit there for a little bit, your foot will adjust and then you're not gonna feel anything. So then you can just practice uh, just by standing in them. And like if, for example, if you're working at your desk, or if you're working from home, for example, you can just uh, do the standing desk and just do heel raises or something like that. And that's just like you could just do a small exercise while you're working on your computer, like when I'm editing my videos. So once you are comfortable with just, with just wearing them and standing and walking around the house with them, then you can just incorporate these into your training regimen. And one thing that, to let you know with the durability of these things, this is just silicone rubber. It's very soft very comfortable but if you're gonna train in these all the time they're gonna end up start getting sticky and uh the, the the rubber is just gonna start wearing out because this is an extremely soft rubber so 
If you're gonna train in these, I would probably recommend just getting two sets of them. You can just have one for your gym and have one set just for your house if you're gonna just wear them around the house. I hope you found this quick video useful and uh, j just in case you were wondering if these actually work or not and if you read the reviews on their website you'll see a lot of the people using them and you'll see some of the people who are big proponents on the barefoot training wear these as well. So uh, thank you to the toe spacers for sending me these. Um, I'm definitely gonna hold on to these for a while and if probably gonna get some more eventually once these wear out as well. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. I appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. And you can also uh, hit us up on Instagram at to the core media, to the core actual, and officer178. If you got any questions or suggestions uh, for the content, and we'll see you on the next one.